Hello everyone, XP Games and Elk here back with a new Fire Emblem Builder tutorial. Today we're tackling the subject of paired support endings at the end of the game. As all of you know, in Vanilla Sacred Stones there are a couple of endings you can get uh, when you pair up different characters and reach an A support with them. For an example, Erika and Seth have a paired ending, and I will show you today how to set custom paired endings. Um, this video, or this tutorial, was requested by user Leiluxion. Um, they asked me if I could do a little guide or a thingy uh, on the little endings that characters can have together or alone. So let's take a look at the final result, shall we? If we just open up the emulator, make the screen a bit bigger, and if we load the game uh, to safe state, um, let's kill the Demon King, shall we? And what will happen now is Seth will kill the Demon King, ba 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 ba. Everyone has played Sacred Stones at this point. Um, let's just skip all of this dialogue. Let's skip this shit. We're all only here for the endings, aren't we? And now the staff credits roll, and we will soon see all of the character endings. Um, nice. Ah, so we'll just simply see all of the character endings. We'll just skip to the, through them real quick. Um, and once Ephraim shows up, we have to let go of the space bar button. That's Ephraim. Um, and now we will see a paired ending. XP, Tutorial Master and Seth the Silver Knight. Rip, Seth and XP became the best bros for showing off stuff and tutorials that have to do with the Fire Emblem Game Boy Advanced hacking software FE Builder. So that is the paired ending that we have set as a custom one. Now let's go in, uh, into how we can actually edit and make that a real thing, shall we? Alrighty then, as you can see, we're at the main menu screen of FE Builder, and something that we need to uh, note right off the bat is that the um, character endings uh, of the characters in a Fire Emblem Game Boy Advanced ROM are not limited to any chapter. And for things that are not limited to a chapter or that are somewhere else than um, inside a chapter, so all of these standard editors at the top here, um, there is no uh, character endings anywhere uh, here. So uh, what you might have seen in previous tutorials and what you might have found out yourself is if you click on advanced editors right here, you will go to a new screen. Let me quickly get it for you guys. There you go. And as you can see, there's a lot of options. There's seriously a lot of options. And most of them are pretty useful. Some of them you just do not want to change at all. But what we're going to do here is because we want to look for character endings, we're going to type in ending here. And what we will find is that we will have this as our only result. Well, there are a couple of things down here, but those all have to do with patches. And we are not looking for patches here, we're just simply looking for um, for an editor within FE Builder. We do not want to uh, attach new character endings. So we just click on character endings, and it will take you to the following screen. It will take you to this screen. Uh, and what you want to do now is, there's a lot of stuff here. And we'll go from, as usual, we'll go from top to bottom, and I'll explain you what, what is. So first we have the unit uh, and the retreat designation. So this list of um, characters are all the characters in Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones or in the ROM that have an ending if you recruit them. And if you manage to keep them alive, then all of these characters, so uh, Erika, which is XP in this ROM, Rib Seth, which is Seth, Ephraim, Franz, Gilliam, Mulder, all of those characters will have an ending if you manage to successfully complete the ROM with them alive. Then the game will show their ending. Um, if you want to add a new character to the list, so let's say you have changed one of the bosses, for an example, to be recruitable. Uh, what you then want to do is you want to click the data expansion. Previously, this was called extend list. And what you will do then is you will add a new character to the list. Now, this is very important because if this character is not in the list, uh, then I think 
I'm not entirely 100% sure, but I am like 90% sure that the character will not show up in the ending reel. So, um, if you miss a character in this list that you do want to have an ending, then um, it's best to just uh, show him here or to make him show up here. That being said, uh, let's continue. Uh, so, we have a character. So, let's say we added a new character. So, um... For simplicity's sake, let's just say that the character we've added is XP. Then you will get, um, uh, of course, you have to select XP in this little list. So we, of course, selected XP. And now we have one more option that we can set, and that is retreat designation. Now, when we ho hover over the retreat designation thingy, it doesn't really tell us what this does. What it actually does is the retreat designation, um, there's a possibility or there is an option for characters um, in the ending reel to be either, uh, to have either died during the war, to have uh, retreated, or to have been wounded. If a character has been wounded, what will happen is if you complete the game, um, and you have set the retreat designation to 2, the characters would have retreated, uh, but they will have survived the war. And what this means is that if uh, a character has died, then it will say, canonically, this character has not died in the war. They have only retreated uh, or they have been wounded. I think two is for retreating and one is for being wounded. Um, I do not know this for sure. I haven't checked myself. Uh, it's very easy to check, but uh, in my own ROM hack, I've not been doing anything for the ending of the hack. Because I'm just uh, busy doing the first couple of chapters right now. So, I have not set any of this. Uh, so, I think 2 is for sure that a character will retreat. So, for an example, I remember that Inez um, will automatically or canonically cannot die in Sacred Stones. Even if you kill him off, he will not die, he will just simply retreat. And um, there's a couple of other characters that do this. But what is really sad is that a character such as Tana will actually die. There's a, quite a few characters that will actually die. Mir will retreat. Salev will die. Marisa, Ewan, Tethys. There's a couple of characters that die. Lara Shell does not. Uh, Ines does not. And Seth does not. So there are actually three characters in all of the cast of Sacred Stones that actually retreat instead of dying canonically if they are killed. And that is quite sad. So, if you want your character to be uh, a character that retreats uh, after they have been killed, then of course you can um, set that uh, here in the retreat designation. A thing to note, by the way, is that Erika and Ephraim do not retreat, even though you might think these characters are very important to the story. Why do they not retreat? Or when I kill off uh, Erika or Ephraim and I get to the endings, what hap why does it not uh, nothing happened. Well, the thing is, if you kill Erika or Ephraim, the game will automatically give you a game over. So, there is no way that Erika or Ephraim can die, because otherwise she would kind of be soft-locked. So, there is no re uh, retreat designation for them, simply because you will never see it anyway. That is that. So, now that we've covered uh, the unit being added to the list, and whether they die canonically, or they retreat, or get wounded, uh, now it is time to actually go to the units themselves. So, this list over here is also the order in which characters will appear in the ending reel. So, it is very common for Fire Emblem games to have the main characters be the final entry. Right? Um, Byleth has this in uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, Mark is the final entry together with like Elliewood uh, and Hector and Lynn, I think, in Fire Emblem 7. In Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, as you can see here, it's Ephraim and Erica, or XP for that matter, that are the last ones uh, in the list that get the last reel. And for Fire Emblem 6, it's Roy, I believe. Um, so, a lot of Fire Emblem games have the most important characters listed at the bottom, and that is also why uh, you, you can easily find out that this is the order in which the characters appear. So, here, for an example, Seth appears as the first character to get an ending reel. So, Seth will show up first, then you will see Franz, and then you'll see Gilliam, and then you'll see Mulder, and etc., etc.,
So what you want to do here is not really that important. It's just the, uh, this list is the order in which characters appear. The most important thing really, uh, if you do not care about the order at all, then you only need to focus on uh, this little bit here. This is the unit. Uh, if you do not set anything for a unit here, so if you add a unit to this list at the top, and uh, you do not add them to this list, what will happen is a unit will simply not have uh, a title, which means that a unit will miss out on a title on the ending uh, reel, which kind of looks weird. So you kind of want to set a title for a character. Um, so if uh, XP, for an example, was missing here, you would not see Erica Restoration Queen. Uh, so be sure to, when you uh, need to add a character to this list as well, click on data expansion and then be sure to add a title, make sure the unit um, uh, is, or the unit ID over here uh, corresponds with the uh, unit that you have added in this little list up top. Uh, then you have the title, which is basically just a string. You can edit nothing uh, important about that. And what you want to do then is if you have added all of this and all of this is nice, then you want to go to this little list. This little list has all of the entries of all of the characters um, as well as if a character has an A support, the paired endings. So for an example, you have XP or Erica, this is Vanilla Sacred Stones, has five pairings. She has five characters she can get an A support with. Uh, is that true? Um, there's quite a few characters you can get an A support with. Uh, I do not know if it's exactly five, but if she gets an A support with any of these characters, uh, any of these five characters, what will happen is you will trigger an, a, an uh, additional or an extra unique um, ending for these characters. Uh, which means that if you um, have like let's say XP would reach an A support with Salette, then this little text over here, that will um, th that will actually show up in the end of, uh, or at the end of the game, which is really interesting. Uh, and you can do some really interesting stuff with this. If you want a custom character A to support with custom character B and you want them to marry each other in the at the end of the game, then you can basically set that here. Now, there's one important thing to note is if you add a character to the ending list, let's say I would add a character called Gustav that is a playable brigand in my Fire Emblem ROM hack. Uh, let's say I wanted to add an ending for Gustav. Gustav will uh, has a paired ending with like uh, a former or with the son of his former uh, pirate captain. Um, if he has an A support ending with that, what will happen? is um, the A support, uh, you need to, uh, and since Gustav is a character that is not in vanilla Fire Emblem, uh, Fire Emblem 8, he was not a vanilla character, uh, I added him as a playable character, uh, I did not replace any of the standard Sacred Stones characters, so I had to add him via um, uh, um, rebuilding a character. If you do that, be sure to, if you want paired endings for a character, be sure that you click on data expansion here and you add uh, two entries, one for the A support Mary thingy and the other one for the alone. Because otherwise, if a character uh, does not reach an A support uh, and they will have an ending alone, yet there is no entry, no text will show up. On the other hand, if you want an A support for a character, but you only have an alone, as you can see here, you only have an alone, then no uh, custom uh, Mary thing you will show up at the end of the game. So that is something you need to keep in the back of your mind. Uh, if I add a new character, I will need to add one for the A support, as you can see here, and one for alone, so that a character can either uh, stay single at the end of the of the um, of the journey of the war, and a character can like marry or get a new friend for life. I remember uh, Linhart and Caspar became really good buddies that traveled the world uh, after the war ended. So 
uh, in three houses. So that is something you can do as well here. You can simply, um, you can also make like a, a, yeah, we're good bros ending. That being said though, um, I'm going to add some uh, text, some custom text here in a bit. But what I wanted to, sh uh, what I wanted to point out is that um, this is only for Erica's route. There's also a separate thingy for um, Ephraim's route. And the thing with that is, is that I do not know exactly how this works. I think this is just, um, in that case, or like, um, or in Ephraim's route, Ephraim is last, and in Erica's route, Erica is last. As you can see in this list here, uh, Erica is la uh, la or the, uh, the second last here, and here Ephraim is the last character to get a reel. And in, um... In Erica's route, it's the other way around. So this is actually the true separation. I was wrong. This is not the list of characters. This is not the actual order. It's when you select a route. Only then will you get the exact order with Erica being last in her route and Ephraim being last in his route. Uh, be sure to uh, add your character's ending to both. Uh, if you still in uh, if you still have the route split in the game, because what otherwise will happen is uh, if you play Erica mode and you choose the Erica side of the ROM, what will happen is uh, you will only be able to play as Erica, or you will only see the character endings if you select the Erica route. And if a player chooses the Ephraim route, they will not be able to select, or they will not be able to see the Bros ending or the ending of the custom characters you've added. So keep this in the back of your mind if you keep the route split in the game. I simply do not keep the route split in the game, so I do not really need to pay any attention to this. But if you uh, think, or if you just want to imp uh, implement the route split in the game, then be sure to have this, uh, to, to uh, have Erica and Ephraim's route, have character entries uh, in there, uh, both in there. So now that we have covered uh, the characters and the endings and the pairings, let's edit the Rip Seth and XP ending real quick, shall we? So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the um, we're going to click on the contents button here, and if we click the contents button, it will simply take you to the text editor, and we've seen the text editor before, of course, right? Um, so let's go to the text editor real quick. As you can see, this is the text editor. We're going to delete all of that. Let's just say, uh, Rip, Seth, and XP became the best bros for showing off stuff and tutorials that have to do with the Fire Emblem GBA hacking software FE builder. The context or if it's correctly uh, spelled is not important. I know you guys are all going to rant about that in the comment section. I do not really care. Click right to ROM and what we'll do then is uh, we'll go, uh, you guys won't see this, but I'm clicking on uh, Erica's title and we'll set it and we'll click here. So now as you can see we jumped to the shortcut. Uh, of Erica's title, let's just say XP Tutorial Tutorial Master. So now I am the master of tutorials, and if correctly, this will all show up uh, at the ending of the game. So let's go back to this little screen over here. If you have made any changes to titles, to endings, be always sure to click on Write to ROM because otherwise the settings or the changes will not be saved. That is actually that. There is no more to that. It's, it's all complete, all finished. We have set everything for a paired support in the game. So if Ripseth and XP get a paired A support or if they get an A support, uh, and you reach the end of the game without one of them dying, the game will simply reward you with an extra ending or with a special ending between these two characters. That being said, that is actually everything for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there are any things you're still struggling with on this topic or any other topic, be sure to leave that in the comments down below. I will help you out either with a tutorial video or might help you out on Discord. Um, 
And yeah, that is actually that. Um, if you enjoyed this, of course, press the thumbs up button. Then I really know this helped. Uh, leave a comment down below so that I know that these are always helpful, these tutorials, as well as it will help the algorithm find these videos easier. Uh, and yeah, I do not really have anything uh, more to say. That is actually that. I will see you guys all in the next tutorial. I hope this helped. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.